You know, I like to say that I have a pretty good knowledge about a few things in this life, but there's one thing that I know absolutely nothing about, and that is interior design. However, in my latest video shoot, I was able to create a home look and feel, uh, pretty fancy looking set with no prior knowledge. And today in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take your natural setting, your, your living room or your den, and turn that into a stellar, well-lit, professional looking video set. So, stay tuned. Hi, my name is James Wedmore, and if you don't know me, well then uh, you need to know I absolutely love making videos, teaching people how to make videos themselves, and one of the questions I get asked all the time is, what's the best set or background for my videos? And this is something to me that is becoming even more and more important. You see, your set needs to be looked at as almost like the, the character uh, in your movie or your book or the theme of your book. Uh, considering we were writing a book, we're really making a video here. So what do you want to convey? What is your brand? What is the emotion that you want to get across? Is it a, is it a more corporate feel or is it a, a light and loving or fun and whimsical or serious or creative feel? And your, your background should uh, really reflect that. So what, I, what I'm doing right here is I'm on the set of a studio space that I rented in Orange County, California. Uh, for, a, for a product that I'm creating and I was really racking my brain. This is one of my weak areas is like how to create a background and stuff and we're actually really happy with what we created and, but uh, it started with just a blank slate. We had nothing but uh, white walls and wood floor. Uh, yet uh, sitting in the corner was this very modern looking white couch. So uh, I actually hired an interior decorator recently to start decorating my place and I got her on the phone and I just asked her a quick, couple of quick questions like how could we make this look uh, really cool and um, so what we did is we combined a modern look with this couch with some older things. So as you can see we have uh, old trunks, we have the old film, film reel and old cameras. So this very, this juxtaposition of the old and the new. And we're like, this is great. So what I wanna do right now is walk you into our set and show you how we, how we created the scene and, uh, and then most importantly, how we lit it. So we, we decided once we had our theme of the old versus new, uh, we would create the couch as the centerpiece of our shot. And right here, we use this little piece, which we'll have a link below in the description box, uh, to really create as a target for our subject. This is what we're shooting, this is where we're aiming at. Um, and it's just a little, uh, a little balance card on a mic stand. But we have our modern couch behind us, we got some orange pillows to give it some color and some pop. And we added some fun things on the side, like I said, the old ladder and the old thing. But uh, if our subject is gonna be sitting down here, well, we need to light the subject. Now, before I light the subject, I think really first, first step is getting your scene set up, okay? Um, now, let me actually talk about a little bit about the background uh, because we didn't wanna film with just a white wall behind it. I don't think that has anything really fun. Um, instead, we have outside the sun kind of hits and there's cars reflecting so, and some trees. So we have these weird white shapes, which we kind of liked. It was something a little different and a little in unconventional to like, yeah, let's film into the windows, into the light. But we, we liked what we saw, so we went with it. Um, so we have our background, we have the foreground that we put together. That's when we then decided, okay, now we bring in the camera and the lights. So if this is our subject right here, we have our tripod right here. And as you can see, it's just an iPhone. We're doing a lot of filming with the iPhone and it's at eye level with our subject, if our subject were sitting down. The next thing we need to do, and I'm gonna take the place of our, uh, of our subject here, is we want to properly uh, light our subject. And so if we were to sit eye level to the camera, what we wanna do is have a light on either side of us facing at a 45 degree angle. The first one is a key light, which is your primary light source. And so we put that at 45 degree angle right here to cover from about here over and really light that side of the face. Then we bring in this second light. And the second light really fills in those shadows. And if we wanted to, we could do a third light. Um, it's kind of like an overhead or a backlight to kind of get some depth and dimension to my head. But we actually have, luckily enough, in the studio, some built-in overhead lights, so we don't really need to do that. Plus, it's already a very well-lit place to begin with, so we're really happy with it. 
And what's then exciting is because we've created this set and we have a lot of texture and design and a lot of like story built into this. I mean, here's these old cameras. We've got this funny branch thing. We can film from different angles uh, and, and different positions. Keep the set. The set has never changed. But for the last three days, we filmed videos in every different angle. We use a different area of the set. Maybe it's at an angle. Maybe I'm standing like five feet in front of it, or we're sitting down at an angle. And now that we have the set, we have all these creative different options that we can use. So very exciting and very simple. Um, we will have links below to the lighting kits that we used and some of the other tools that we did to make it, uh, to make it work. But uh, that was it. I, people get me ask me this question all the time, James. How do you light, you know, with what I've got, like my living room or my den or my home office? And that's one way to do it. The last thing I want to leave you with is just to remember, whatever your business is, is whatever the the branding, the message, the emotion that you want to convey, you want to let your set help you do that. Okay, so that's why we threw a little camera equipment in there. We thought it would be fun to have an old uh, film reel and do that. So uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Now. As I said, we're on the, f the set of a new product that we're creating, something I'm very excited about. So what we did is we went ahead and I created a free uh, video training series for you that's gonna help you identify the five most essential videos that your business needs. These are five videos, things like sales video, uh, list building videos, traffic getting videos that every business owner needs if they're marketing on the internet. Uh, and if you click the link below, I'll give you a video that's gonna totally walk you through those five videos, break them down and show you how you can create them yourself in your business and make them actually look good. You know, things that you're like proud to share these videos, right? Uh, so video doesn't have to be intimidating or daunting for you. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I got so many more videos coming out. Leave a comment, I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you soon, take care. There are five essential videos that every online business owner needs. Do you have them? In this free training series, I'll introduce you to these five videos that can start working for you to produce more traffic, more leads, and of course, more customers in your business. Once you register on the next page, I'll show you exactly what to say in these videos, how to make them, and then what to do with them to get maximum exposure. And the best part, you can do it all without any prior video experience and with little money. You can't afford to ignore video any longer. Isn't it time you do it right? Click the link below to get started now.